Hey everyone, how's it going here? This is Jeffrey Quinn with GQ Rentals and the 2023 Rove Sur by Travelite. Just kind of walk you through kind of a quick 10 minute preview video of how everything works. You kind of have your full set of keys up here. I provide a tongue lock that is worked by this Brinks key right here. So for hookup, you will undo this tongue lock, pop up the chains, Take the tongue lock, pull it back so it's in the back position. Get your hitch ball under there. Use the electronic hitch to drop it down. You do want to have the ball of the hitch slightly greased. That's not for the ball, it's mainly for the coupler itself. When you're getting a little pressure on it, you can make sure it lines up. And this will be the initial hookup portion and you can see on the bottom here there's kind of a few different levels to the jack there so we're turning it off so now we gotta get it on to the vehicle just like that lock it into place and you're good to go there just wanted to keep it stable while you are walking around and using the RV. So this will go back into the tongue lock here. Lock right up. Some states it is required to have, so I do recommend keeping it in at all times. You have your electronic jack up front, two batteries, typically only comes with one when you get the upgraded battery, so the fridge in here will last several days. I mean, I say five to seven, no problem. You have your front propane that mainly just runs the AC for you. We'll zoom out a little bit here. You have your front bed up front, that's the side windows. You have these really nice side jacks here. These have a bit that's in these cubbies holes that you could put on the end of a drill if you need. There's also hand cranks for all of them. You can take these jacks throw them to the side like that if you want while you're traveling either or i typically will tend to leave them up because they don't really bother me and then you look in here you get a nice pass through cubby hole it goes all the way to the other side that's where we're going to keep kind of a lock for you you do have an exterior power washer hose here this will plug into the side port a few cables your 30 amp connector into the 120 volt you have a six gallon jug in there that's provided as well that'll let you bring water back and forth if you need it. Um, no turn lock on these, but you will put the actual lock in and they'll lock right up for you. This is your water heater. Um, if for whatever reason, the water heater is not performing or it's not turning on, it's very likely <clears throat> this one switch in here is switched to off. This switch right here is off right there. And right here it is on. That allows the water heater to run off electric only. They like to have it off sometimes not to hurt the battery, but there's no need to keep it off 24 seven. Right here you have your black and then your gray water. You're gonna to wanna to pull the black first and then the gray. This one has, I believe, a five gallon black tank. And I also can provide a, another exterior black tank as well for additional usage. And then you wanna pull the black again and then the gray and it'll get all the waste out of there. The gray is your shower and your food. <clears throat> Here's your city water connection if you need it. This city water will plug right up and power the whole RV using the water pump. If there's enough pressure, you won't even need the water pump. Then right here, you have the fresh water. You open this up, you'll either use that six gallon jug or just hook a hose right up to it. I also provide a filter for the water that's in the cubby hole as well. Right here, you have that spray port I was talking about. So if you just plug in that hose right here, you'll have a nice spray port. You can wash the bikes and the toys, the bicycles, whatever you need. Spray down the chairs if you're at the beach. Each. This is going to be the cable input. If you do have cable at your campsite, you can plug right in there and there's a nice TV on the inside. And then of course you have the big 30 amp connection right here. This plugs all the way through to 120 volt, but that was just plugging the AC and you see this little prong kind of on the bottom there. That little prong is the bottom prong. So you will just put that right there and get it to latch on. And there you have it. So walking around, we have our tires here. All the tires have tire pressure monitor systems. You're gonna to wanna to monitor that. That is the most, um, the biggest issue that possibly will happen on an RV is you get a tire blowout. As you can see here, we have our jack stand sideways. They can go either way. On the back, you have the same Brinks lock. So to get this down, which we're not gonna do right this second, but you take the same key that is used for the tongue lock and it will work these ones as well. 
So that same key for the tongue lock, all the locks are the same. So you have that, same one over here as well. And to get these up, you just take the latch here, flick it up and take the whole one. You gotta make, it's really nice and snug, makes a nice seal. So you push it up, it's a little tight. And then this bar comes out to the side here and you're able to drop the whole back once you have both of them down. I do recommend two people if you got them. Nice big awning on this side, more stabilizer jacks. You got four of those all the way around. Two more tires with two more tire pressure monitor systems, keeping everything safe. This is an exterior port for the oven. Um, this is gonna be a side intake that allows airflow to go through the RV if you need it. This is the exterior plugs right there. If you have anything outside you need to plug in while you're working. Got a TV backer here. I'm gonna try and get a TV mounted outside on this one. Here's that same cubby hole on the other side has the cranks in there as well as some tire chocks you know the hose you need to empty the black tank all that fun stuff and we come over here to our steps these are typically in the door right now we are locked to do this it's going to be a code of one two one two unlock nice and easy don't let you forget the keys always put these upgrades on the rvs when we can currently see how that is squeaking good test there what you're going to want to do is just come to the front jack this up a little bit because once it connected to the car the little legs there kind of give it a little a little blockage so now you can see the door moves freely so if that happens just jack it up a little more it should be good to go it is nice and cold in there we've had the ac running all night stepping on in we have plenty of room for all the toys anything you may need we have a side table back here even this will pop up Sit up has two legs underneath that come out, support the whole table. Nice extension of the countertop right there. You have your back window, you have your back bed. This back bed comes out, which will be in the next video. You have the table that turns into the extra part of the bed, the extra part of the bed pad. The table can also be raised up high for a dinner table. You have plenty of room for the bikes. This is a Kawasaki 250 sitting in there. You have another one, plenty of space behind it for another. Here's kind of your closet hanging area. You can hang a few things here, have some extra hooks added in here. Really amazing cupboards, lock while you're driving, pop it open, they come up. These are your really nice curtains. We're gonna get some new ones put in here as it didn't come with any in the back. This is the back that'll drop down, let you bring the bikes in and out. Have a nice screen cover here. These can pull open, get everything in as you need it. Again, plenty of room in this one. Standing in the back here, have one bike there. Can definitely get a few more bikes, no problem. Have the front area, you got your front kitchen. Nice big fridge. You turn this on, all you do is hold the button in there for 10 seconds and it will turn that on. You have your wet bath right next to it. A good size freezer, fridge freezer. Now we're on, let that get nice and cold. Stepping over here, you have your wet bath right next to it. Just had these mirrors installed. Wet bath here, plenty of room. I'm 6'2", can stand in here, turn all the way around, close the door. Plenty of, plenty of headroom even. If you're a little wider, you might have some issues, but I'm uh, about 220, no issues for me so far. Here's the front bed, gonna have a full mat or queen mattress sits up here. This is the back table for the back if you need it. Try to give you all the amenities that I can think of. You got a toaster, a Nutribullet. The Nutribullet typically doesn't go with you, but if you need it, let me know. Got extra storage everywhere for you. This has also shelves in it. Have our countertop and stove right here everything you need and i'm gonna go through another video explaining all the interior details once we get it cleaned up and ready for renters thanks for watching